Hi everybody, Captain Al speaking with your time training tips and 10 ticks targeted to teaching technical type transport travel through tailored tiny takeaways. The question for today, episode 3, part 2, what does the VNAV climb page do? This will be an airborne discussion for the Boeing 747-400 and Boeing 747-8. Let's go over to the virtual simulator and take a look. Okay, this is part two of the uh, question of the day. What does the uh, VNAV climb page do? And uh, we described the climb page in, uh, in part one. And in part two, we're airborne. So you'll notice we have the VNAV climb page up on the uh, upper left side. I want you to watch that. And uh, we rotated with a positive rate. We got the gear up. We climbed out, and then you'll notice that the speed settled on uh, 178 based on my rotation rate. I tried to make it a little bit slower so that I wouldn't uh, come right on 175. Because if you remember, 175 was the uh, V2 plus 10, 165 was V2. And you'll notice that uh, this would indicate that I rotated just, just a little slow. Uh, because the speed is over V2 plus 10, it's at V2 plus 13. And that's what the speed re-referenced. And notice the title of the VNAV page says active 179 knot climb. So that's referencing uh, the existing speed between V2 plus 10 and V2 plus 25 of where I settled after I rotated. And so it's no longer referencing what was on the uh, takeoff reference page. It's now referencing to what you actually have when you're in the air. And as we continue here, once we unfreeze the simulator, uh, once we pass the acceleration height, right now we're at 700 uh, feet above the ground. When we get to 1,000 feet, we'll start acceleration. Uh, the bug will go up and the uh, speed will increase. And you'll notice the title of the VNAV page then will change from active 179 knot climb to active limit speed climb as it's indicating that it's controlling to the flap limit speed which right now would be for flap 20 and that would be the flap limit speed minus 5 knots and as we retract the flaps it will continue to reference the limit speed for each flap setting until the flaps are up. Once they're up then we're going to go to uh, a reference of 265 below 10 and you'll see that uh, change back to active 265 knot climb until 10,000 feet where it'll then go to econ uh, speed. Notice also we do have a restriction. We passed the conditional waypoint already. We have a restriction at the docker to cross docker at or below 3,000 and then to the next one after that would be looking at the ND of OC at or below 5,000 and we're uh, climbing to 8,000. So again, there's two ways you could do this. You could set the MCP window to 8,000 like we have here. And then if you're in VNAV, VNAV will level off at each of those points uh, in order to comply with that restriction. Of course, in this case, Docker is only one mile away and we're at uh, 800 feet. So at or below, that's gonna drop out. And then the next restriction would take over at or below five. And uh, if we don't meet that, uh, or if we more than meet it, uh, it'll drop out also. So we, we're probably never going to get to the point where we actually would level off prior to that waypoint um, because we'll be at a lower altitude than those constraints anyway. So they'll probably both drop out without us uh, actually leveling off because uh, we just don't have that kind of performance with this kind of mileage to make those restrictions uh, at or below those altitudes. So with that, I'm going to unfreeze the simulator and uh, again watch the uh, VMAF climb page, watch for the acceleration height, and watch the title of the page. So we're coming up on a thousand feet, we're out of a thousand feet. There goes the uh, bug. It's referencing the flap limit speed minus 5 knots. You can see that here on the PFD, that it's just 5 knots shy of those red boxes. And uh, notice the title of the page changed to active limit speed climb. We're at 
we're at our flap 10 speed, so we'll go ahead and uh, select flaps 10. We're accelerating. And now notice the boxes will move up, and so will the bug. The bug moves up to your flap limit speed minus 5 knots. Here's flaps 5. We'll go to flap 5. Now it's going to re-reference to flaps 5 limit speed. And notice we did pass the uh, restriction at, uh, at or below 3,000. Now we're approaching Ivasi at or uh, below 5,000. That We just passed that. And now the next restriction shows up here, which is uh, at or below 12,000 at dark. We'll go flaps 1. And now again, you're going to see the red boxes on the PFD move up. And you're going to see the bug move up with it to the flap limit speed. And then we'll go flaps up. And notice now the title of the VNAP page changed to active 265 knot climb. It's no longer referencing the flap speeds. So let's go ahead and set the altitude window up to uh, 15,000. Let's make it somewhere above, uh, let's say we're cleared up to 22,000 now. Yeah, let's say ATC says uh, maintain speed 300 knots until uh, passing uh, 17,000, then you can resume normal speed. Uh, so we could put in a, a speed restriction, and we could do that by typing out uh, 300 and with a slash, and we want to go to till 17,000. So you could put 170, and then you could line select that on the speed restriction line. And when you execute that, you'll notice the title of the VNAV page is now going to change to active 300 knot climb because it's referencing this speed restriction. The bug will go to 300 knots. It'll uh, increase our climb rate to maintain the speed. VNAV right now is pitching, the elevator is pitching to maintain the speed that's controlled by the computer, and the computer is controlling 300 knots until 17,000 feet. Once it passes 17,000, then this will drop out. It'll go back to econ speed, and we'll see the uh, active 300 knot climb change to active econ climb. Continue our climb to uh, flight level 220 out of Los Angeles. Again, normally we have the VNAV climb page displayed after takeoff. You're on the takeoff reference page for takeoff but then the climb page is the page that's preferred when we're climbing out since we're in VNAV and we can see what we're controlling to. Here comes 17,000. There's 17,000. Goes back to dashes. Speed goes back to econ. Bug jumps up. Title of the page is now active econ climb. You'll notice if we uh, control now through the mode control panel Right now the indicated airspeed Mach window is blank because when you're in VNAV the FMC is controlling the speed. And what speed are you controlling to? Well you can look here, 350. You can look here on the climb page which shows that you're controlling to your econ climb speed which is 350 until we intercept the 0.847 Mach. And that will maintain that. If we were to uh, want to control the speed ourselves and take control away from the computer instead of holding 350, we could simply push the uh, selector, the indicated airspeed mock selector, and that's called speed intervention. And let's say we want to maintain 3,000 uh, or 330 knots because ATC told us to maintain uh, 330. So we can uh, bug the speed down to 330. And now you're controlling the speed instead of the computer. Uh, you're controlling it directly. So if we can go to standard here. And we just passed our transition of 18,000. And that's where we this turned amber, telling us that you need to go to 2992. So I push the standard button to tell it uh, that uh, we're now above the transition. And now everything's a flight level above uh, above 18,000 and uh, we have standard uh, or two PFDs in the ISFD here. When we want to take control back from the computer we would simply uh, push the selector and that would blank the window again and the speed would go back to the econ climb speed. So we can do that. Push the selector. Window blanks. Says active econ climb. Bug goes back to our econ speed. 
We could also, if we wanted to maintain 330, do it through the CDU. That's a less heads up way, but we could put 330 in here, line selected on top of the econ speed line. It now shows that it's a modified climb page. 330 knots is selected speed, execute it, and the uh, speed will then go to active 330 knot climb. And so that's the selected speed. You'll notice there's a prompt down here now for econ speed to go back to econ speed. Since the window is blank, it remained blank. We just changed the speed within the climb page. So now we can go back to econ when we're ready. ATC says resume normal speed. We can go to econ and execute that. And notice again, you get modified. You get an execute light. You get an erase prompt. And we can execute that. And then the title of the page will change back to active econ climb when we execute that. Now the max angle is, uh, let's resume the climb to uh, flight level uh, 340. We'll go to our cruise altitude, 340. There's 340, we're in VNAV out. We push the altitude selector to resume the VNAV climb, thrust at VNAV speed, up we go. And now you'll notice that the uh, our max angle is 272. If for some reason we wanted to maintain max angle, this is a line selectable uh, item in the simulator of the airplane. Uh, I don't know if it's just PMDG model today or uh, sometimes you never know. Sometimes certain things don't work, but right now I'm trying to line select it and it's not coming down to the scratch pad. Normally this would come down to the scratch pad and then you can select that speed. In this case, we'd have to type it out, 272. Again, this is line selectable, would come to the scratch pad when you push that, and then you could take that and put it up on your speed line, whatever's controlling, and then climb at max angle. You notice now the area here is blank because there is no further, um, there are no restrictions on the legs page. If you look at the legs page, we have no restrictions, just predicted altitudes now in small font and they're predicted at our cruise altitude of 340. So this area is blank. Again, if you had a restriction and it couldn't make that restriction, you would get an error message under here. So if we, uh, let's see, where are we? We're, uh, let me put this out of the way. Let's increase the range. And let's say we want to cross uh, Tessia we're going to 340. Let's say we want to cross Tessia at uh, 320 at uh, 32,000 feet. So we put in uh, 320 and line select that there, execute it. We'll keep 34,000 in the window. And now on our VNAP page, we have that restriction at Tessia. And we, of course, we have 46 miles to do that. So the computer is predicting you can make that no problem so you can see that uh, the area here is blank because there's no error predicted by the computer we're going to be able to reach flight level 320 with no problem now let's take that out now let's go climb direct we'll take that out that'll remove that restriction execute and then that restriction is removed from the legs page and this area is blank again if we were to uh, lose an engine, let's uh, just for the heck of it, chop one of our engines here. If we were to lose an engine and we go to the engine out page, the engine out page will now give us what the max altitude is and we cannot climb to a 340 now. It says max altitude is 322, and it replaces the 340, which was our cruise altitude, with the uh, 322 altitude. We'll go ahead and execute that. We probably wouldn't level at 322. We'd probably level at uh, 320 in this case if we wanted to continue the climb, where we'd level off right where we are. And we'll continue the climb. So it re-references our speed now to 289 based on the fact we have one engine out. And this page will reference one or two engines out. Uh, it won't do three or four, but it will uh, reference uh, a two engine out performance for a climb. 
Notice if you got the engine restarted, you can go back to all engine here. When you select that and execute, it would go back to your all engine uh, speed. We'll leave it like that. 290 is the speed. We could then re-reference our uh, altitude to uh, 320 because we're going to stop the climb there. So let's uh, set that to 320 just so it stops the climb there. And we'd be going to our max, uh, basically our max altitude for a three engine operation at this point. The airplane will have more than enough performance to do that. You can see it is slowing the climb down though. It's going to be struggling a little bit to get up there since that is the max. We'd probably level off right here at 300. Okay, so that completes uh, the uh, discussion on some of the things that what does the VNAV climb page do. Thanks for watching.